Hey all, welcome back. <laughs> no, I should do it like that, should I? <laughs> hey all, welcome back to SLB Basement Bourbon Bar. My name is Kurt. I've had an enormous amount of requests from our loyal subscribers to mix up my favorite cocktails in several different spirits, you know, gin, tequila, uh, mezcal, scotch. So Trent and I talked about it. We're going to start a little bit of a mini series here. And tonight, I'm going to start out with my personal favorite bourbon cocktail. I know. I just had to start with bourbon. Of course I did. But this is my, just my individual favorite bourbon cocktail at the moment. And as we move down the line through the series, we'll be getting into all different kinds of spirits and my favorite cocktail that I mix in those individual spirits. All right, let's get started. Tonight, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to be mixing up the Hunter cocktail. That's the name of it. I can't take credit for it. Probably a year and a half to two years ago, somewhere in that general range, I was surfing through YouTube and I watched a Japanese bartender, which I can't recall his name, mix up the Hunter cocktail. So I mixed it for myself and I just absolutely fell in love with it and it is definitely my favorite. We're going to start out with three dashes of orange bitters. I do not have a preference in orange bitters, so use the orange bitters you have on hand. After that, I'm going to pour in a quarter ounce of the Luxardo Maraschino. Again, if you don't have Luxardo, that's fine. Use the Maras Maraschino of your choice. I'm going to move on down the line here. I've got cherry herring, and we're going to pour in a half ounce of the cherry herring. Now, what I can tell you with this particular ingredient of the cocktail, I have tried this cocktail with other cherry liqueurs and it just is not as good. So if you want to try to duplicate this at home, I highly, highly suggest that you at least stick with uh, the half ounce of the actual cherry herring liqueur. It makes all the difference in the world. Moving on to the star of the show, we have bourbon and my preference for this particular cocktail is the Russell's Reserve single barrel. It, it loads of tons of flavor to the cocktail and it has a really nice ABV. It's at 110 proof so it gives a really nice backbone to the cocktail which I absolutely love. So I am going to pour in two and a half ounces of Russell's Reserve single barrel. You can pour in two and a half ounces of the bourbon of your choice. And that's it. That's all the ingredients to the Hunter cocktail. I'm gonna get some ice in this glass and we're gonna give it a stir. You wanna stir the cocktail until you get a real nice cold chili frosty feel on the bottom of your glass. This cocktail in general has a high ABV. So a few extra turns will not hurt at all. All right, that should do it. Now, when I mix this down here at SLB, I always use a chilled coupe and I have one right here to my right. I'll grab it real quick out of the freezer. Beautiful. Now, I have a Luxardo cherry ready to go. A single Lux Luxardo cherry on a garnish pick. And that's it. That's the Hunter cocktail, my favorite bourbon cocktail to this point. Most importantly, let's see what we have. And that is, that is just delicious. Because I'm using the Russell's Reserve, it's one of my favorite bourbons to begin with. 
It does have a hundred, it is 110 proof, so it really has a stable backbone to the cocktail. And then it's all in, reinforced with a little bit of that cherry flavor in the background from the maraschino and the cherry herring. It's just absolutely delicious. Now, granted, this is a high ABV cocktail. So if that's not quite up your alley, possibly change out the bourbon to a little bit lower ABV bourbon or possibly even pour it into a single rocks glass with a chunk of ice. That would tone it down just a touch too. So personalize it to what you would prefer. But I highly suggest that you try this cocktail. It is flipping delicious. It's great. Hey, that's all I have for you tonight. Thank you so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing. We would certainly appreciate that. We have some unbelievable plans coming up in the near future. As soon as we hit the 20,000 subscriber mark, we're going to do our very first live show. We haven't done one yet. It'll be our very first and we're going to have some we're going to have some amazing giveaways. It's going to blow your mind. You're not going to believe it. So, stay tuned for that. As soon as we hit that 20k, we're going live with some fantastic giveaways. As always, we ask you to please drink responsibly. Hey, we'll see you next time right down here with me in a good old basement bourbon bar. See you later.